Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to open one effects window at a time in Reaper. Now, if a new project opened up, let's create three new tracks over here. Just double click. Let's give them a separate color for each. Select them all, right click. Track color, set tracks to random colors. And now it's add a different effect to each. Go to the effects button right here. And on this track, let's add rear gate. And on the second track, let's add rear comp. And on the third track, let's add Rear EQ, just to make them different. So now if we open one at a time, the first track we could put over here, the second one we could put over here, and the third one we could put over here. But it can be difficult to see them all at the same time. So instead, we could see them all in one window. And we could do that with a preference. So let's close all of it and let's go to the options menu and choose preferences. Then we'll scroll down to plugins and choose the option right here. Only allow one effects chain window open at a time. So if we choose this and we open up the track effects on track one, we'll see the effects on that track which is our gate. But now if we do the same thing on track two with our compressor, it opens up in the same window. And the same thing with any of the tracks in our project. The third track with re-EQ. So we can jump back and forth very quickly and only have to deal with one window at a time, which is very helpful if we combine this with a keyboard shortcut. Let me show you. Let's go to the action list right here. And let's type in open effects. There's a bunch of actions right over here that are going to open up our effects for any track we select. I created a custom one over here that's going to open all the effects at the same time. And we can see it right here. Effects one through eight. So if we use this custom action, it's going to open the effects window for any track we touch. So let's add a keyboard shortcut to it. Right here, I'll choose Control F. And now we can select any track in our project, hit that keyboard shortcut, it opens up the track effects for that window. But it'll do that no matter which preference we choose. So if we turn this one off, it's going to create a separate window when we apply this keyboard shortcut, which again is going to make it very messy. But if we turn on this preference, it's only going to allow one effects chain window open at a time. We can choose that keyboard shortcut, and it's only going to open one window at a time. Choose a track, hit the keyboard shortcut and it switches to that effects window. And again, it's just one window at a time. It just switches out which effects we see. Which is also helpful if we use a mouse modifier. Let's turn this off again and go down here to our mouse modifiers and choose Track control panel, double click. Then we'll go to one of the modifiers we're not using. I'll choose this one right here. Go to the action list and choose that custom action. And it shows up right here. Now we can double click any track while holding down the modifier and it opens up that track effects. 
But again, it's going to put them in separate windows. So if we don't want that behavior, just turn this one back on. And now I could double click while holding down the modifier and it opens up just one effects window at a time. Just choose any track we want, hold on the modifier and double click, and it switches to the track effects on that track. Very helpful while using the keyboard shortcut or mouse modifiers, or just choosing the little effects button right here. But there's some additional preferences that go along with this one. Let's close this, go back to our preferences, and when we choose this, we could also choose to open track effects window on track selection change. So if we choose this one too, I could just select any track I want. It opens up the track effects window for that track. Just switch tracks that easily. And we're ready to edit the effects on that track. But that can make it hard to edit our project. Because if we just select them, the track effects are automatically going to open. So in addition to this behavior, there's another option we can use. Go back to our preferences. If we choose the option over here to open the track effects window on track selection change, we could also choose to only open the effects when the window is already open. So if it's closed, we could select our tracks and nothing happens. But if we open up the effects window, either from here, the keyboard shortcut, or holding down the modifier and double clicking our track, once it's open, we can now just select our tracks and it's going to switch to the track effects on that track. So it's only going to happen once we open our track effects window. And then we can just select our different tracks and see the effects on that track. And just close it when we don't want to see it anymore. And this is also going to work on items. Let's go to our hard drive. Let's drag in an audio file. Put it right here. Let's cut it up into three pieces. One, two, and three. Let's put an effect on these items. Shift F to open up our effects browser. And let's put Reagate on the first one. Just drag and drop it. We'll put the compressor on the second one. And the EQ on the third one. So now we have different effects on each of our items. And we can see them by selecting them and hitting Shift E. But again, with this option turned off, we're going to get a separate window for each of them. And just like before, it can get quite messy. So again, we could turn on only allow one effects chain window open at a time. Let's turn these off. And now we could open it from here or Shift E, put it where we want it, and just hit this button and it switches to that effect. Or select it, hit Shift E, and it switches to that effect. But it keeps it all in one window. So it'll work on tracks or the items. So that's pretty much it. That's how to open one effects window at a time using preferences in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.